we are going to learn about standard 10 subject sanskrit and the fifth chapter by the name gunvati kanya the translation of the title is like this gunvati gunvati means a virtuous and kanya kanya means a girl so a virtuous girl is the translation of the title now before starting the lesson let me see the introduction part of the lesson poet dali is well known as a prose writer in sanskrit literature he has written a prose work by the name das kumar charitam now here we are talking about the writer he is poet dali and he is one of the well known person for writing prose in sanskrit literature he has written many prose among that prose one of the work is by the name dash kumar chari its theme is imaginative the dash kumar chari is totally based on imagination ten kumaras as it was decided start traveling in ten different directions for the they are telling us that here there is a story of ten kumaras and that ten kumaras has decided to wander to travel in ten different directions during the journey whatever every kumara has experienced is described in the ten chwas or sections of this work so the story is totally based on imagination and further they are telling us that in this story book there were ten kumaras and ten kumaras has decided to travel in ten different directions they have started their journey in ten directions and during their journey whatever they are facing whatever they are experiencing it is described in this book by the name the kumar charitam totally ten sections were there in this in the sixth which was means in the sixth section mantra gupta describes his own experiences of journey at this juncture he narrates the story of sakti kumara now here the story is taken from the sixth which was in which mantra gupta the kumar by the name mantra gupta is describing his own experience of journey and he says about shakti kumar at this juncture he narrates the story of shakti kumar this story has been edited and presented here in a brief man and women are two wheels of a chariot in this form of household life here they are talking about man and women they are telling us that in household life if we want to run it smoothly that man and women are just like a two wheels of a chariot as in a chariot both the wheels should be similar in shape and size similarly likewise in this household life also man and women should be similar in thinking and similar in their nature man and women are two wheels of a chariot in a form of household life as it is essential to have both the wheels of a chariot similar in the shape and size similarly man and women working as a wheels of a household chariot should also be similar in thought and virtues so here they wants to say us that as for a chariot both the wheels are necessary likewise in a household life man and women should is necessary thing right for the they are telling us in chariot as both the wheels should be similar in shape as well as in size similarly for running smoothly the household life both well, the husband and wife means a man and women should be have similar thoughts and virtues sakti kumar the hero of the story is endowed with good qualities now here they are talking about the hero that he is having the very good qualities hence he wants to marry a girl having the good qualities similar to him now sakti kumar is marrying a girl who is uh, who is having same or similar qualities like shakti kumar 
he has made a plan to find out a qualitative girl of his own choice so sakti kumar is planning to get a virtuous girl a qualitative girl as per his plan a girl who can prepare and feed various food items from only one prastha about 2 kg pad is a virtuous girl now further they are telling us that sakti kumar's plan is like this that he will meet a girl and he will put a proposal to that girl that if you are able to prepare many dishes from only one prastha pad and if she is ready and if she is preparing many or various dishes from that one prastha pad then he get married to that girl now here prastha the word prastha is a uh, is used for measurement to measure grains prastha word is used so one prastha means about 2 kg so sakti kumar's plan is that a girl who can prepare and feed various food items from only 2 kg pad is a virtuous girl after finding such a girl he would put a proposal of marriage and if she agrees he will marry her and further if the girl is preparing various food items from only one prastha pad and then if she feed sakti kumar nicely then he will put a proposal to that girl and afterwards if she she will be agree then he will marry to her Shakti Kumar was moving in different countries in a search of a virtuous girl. Finds one girl living in Kanchenjunga, situated on the bank of the river Kaveri. Now here they are talking about the protagonist hero Shakti Kumar. Now as we know that Shakti Kumar is finding he is in a search of a virtuous girl. So one day he went at the bank of the river Kaveri. at kanchinagar who was moving in different countries in search of a virtuous girl finds one girl living in kanchinagar situated on the bank of river kaveri the girl using her extraordinary intellect prepares various food items and pleased sakti kumara by feeding him those items with love now he made that girl and afterwards he put the proposal or he put a, his plan in front of her and she get ready to prepare various food item she prepared many food item many food dishes and afterwards she feed her him and then sakti kumar is uh, he is impressed with the extraordinary intelligence of that girl and puts a marriage proposal in front of that girl thus this girl thus the girl succeed in the taste thus the girl succeed in the taste sakti kumara puts proposal of marriage and marries her after her constant the moral of the story is that in spite of want of being a good or a virtuous person with intellect and skill can get desired happiness active past participles used in this lesson are also to be noted kanchi nagare sakti kumaru naam ekah shreshth putra prati vasati sma kanchi nagare in kanchi city sakti kumaru naam by the name sakti kumar ekah means one shreshth son of merchant prativasati sma means lady let me write down the words with its meaning means one 
the very first line they wants to say is that they live in a city by the name Kanchi, the son of merchant by the name Sakti Kumar. Sakti Kumar, the son of merchant, is living in the city Kanchi. So, yada swakiyarsha jivanasya draw vinchadit me varse pravishta stada. So, means he, yada means when swakiyarsya means of his own. Jivanasya means life. Draw vinchadit me in the 22nd or 22 varse means year pravishta Tada enter when enter chinta ma panha chinta ma panha means started worrying nasty nasty means those who are having not dar vihi nana who has not wife anu ana nu rupa gun darana and those who are having not suitable wife cha sukham sukham means Happy. Now let me write down the words. So means he. When you know. When. So he is here. Means of he is old. And given a share. Chinta ma panama means study worrying.
virtuous that both are not happy they both are not happy further he says that tat katham tat katham gunavatim bharyam aham vindeyam iti tat katham aham gunavatim bharyam vindeyam iti then how tatha plus katham then how gunavati bharyam means a virtuous wife aham vindeyam iti aham means i and vindeyam iti means i may get so tat plus katham tat katham then how
one girl who is wearing less ornament and standing near the well. Here uh, you may note down the words in your notebook.
she takes uh, one husk of grains and she started working as per the desire of Shakti Kumar. Here, the first part of the video is over. Remaining lesson we will see in the next video. You may note down these words in your notebook.